What do people think about when they hear the word retirement? I think about the beach, waking up every single morning, packing some snacks, and heading to the shore. Not a cloud in the sky, not a worry in the world, just pure bliss. But what if you can't afford to retire? According to new research from BlackRock, Generation Z workers are saving away, on average, 14% of income for retirement. That compares with 12% for their older counterparts, Millennials, Gen Xers, and Baby Boomers. Research shows that at the same time, the total share of Americans who think they are on track with their retirement savings has fallen to 63% from 68% in 2021. Do you think at all about retirement, or is that something that seems super far off? I mean... Ooh. Um... <laughs> Wow, that's a good question. Are you saving for it at all or not yet? Not at the minute, no. Okay. No. I have a 401k. Yeah, I mean, I, I pay taxes, so I have social security. No, not yet. <laughs> not <laughs> capable of doing not that at the minute. minute. <laughs> no. I don't really think about it, although I feel like I should. This is Your World on Money. According to Investopedia, retirement refers to the time of life when one chooses to permanently leave the workforce behind. Or in simpler terms, after you graduate high school or college and you start working, retirement is the ability to no longer work and continue your lifestyle, or hopefully have an even more fun one. So how does one do that? Well, with retirement planning. You may be wondering, how am I gonna save so much money to sustain me? I can barely save enough money now. That's a great question, but for now, let's take a quick gander into when retirement originated. The earliest record of our modern concept of retirement comes from the late 19th century. German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck proposed the idea of the government providing financial support for older people. Because up until that point, you pretty much worked until you died or couldn't work anymore. It took a few years to come into fruition, but the German government created a retirement system and provided for elderly people over the age of 70. It just so happened that the retirement age aligned with the life expectancy in Germany at the time. No one first saw the advances in technology and medicine that would allow people to live way past 70. Okay, that's a lot of history. You get the point. But why does this matter today? Hello, Barbara. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Sure. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, talking about future and finance, could you define for me what retirement is? Retirement is the point in life where you're no longer active in the workforce, so you're no longer being paid. So the act of planning for retirement is saving money so that you're able to leave the workforce and sustain yourself on your own savings. So can you tell me what are the different ways of saving for retirement? So the first way to get started on your own is to either look at doing, I call it the DIY, either the traditional IRA or the Roth IRA. If you're doing it through work, most likely it's going to be a 401k. So then your choice is, how do you want to save before tax or after tax? That's it. Those are your two choices. So the before tax would be your traditional 401k. The after tax would be your Roth 401k. That's really the breakdown. You either do it through work or you don't do it through work. And if you don't do it through work, you do it yourself, which would be a traditional IRA pre-tax or an after-tax Roth IRA. So we have a pre-tax money type, and then over here we have a post-tax money. So one meaning you're gonna put your money into retirement savings either before you pay tax, so you get the tax savings today, and then you pay tax when you take it out, or the other one, which is you pay taxes on it today, and then you don't pay on it when you take it out. So those are the two main types of taxation for saving for retirement. For most people who have a job, who are on payroll, who are getting a paycheck, they're already contributing to retirement. And once you start working, you contribute a portion to Social Security, and Social Security is a retirement benefit that you also get from the government. Okay, so as a young person, retirement seems super far away. So why should people my age even be concerned with retirement? The great part about being young is that you have so much time. And the more time you have, the more likely you will succeed with saving for retirement because you can't get that time back. And that time is so valuable and it can change the entire trajectory of your life if you understand compounding of interest. Compound interest is basically where your money makes money. So to give you a quick example that I use when I teach classes, would you rather have a million dollars right now and hand you a million dollars or would you rather have a penny doubled every day for a month? I would say penny because I feel like long term is better. Yeah, it's almost $11 million. What? By waiting one month. Yes, not. it's not a million and a half. It's not two. It's 
10.7 million, which if you rounded it up is very close to 11. Oh my God. And honestly, the sooner you understand compounding of interest, the better off you'll be. So what happens to the money that you put into a retirement account? How does it magically start increasing? So that's the key. The money that you put into the retirement account, you need to make sure that you've selected investment. It is something that IT people make mistakes on. They forget to pick the investment. So you want to make sure that it doesn't just sit there in cash because then there's no magic. No magic at all. So what is a good percentage that I should be putting towards my retirement each paycheck? A good percentage to be putting towards your retirement could be 10%, but any amount that you can do um, would be great. So just getting in the retirement game is key. To give you an example, so if you wanted to have a million dollars at retirement at 65, as a 25 year old, you just need to save 209 a month, which right works out to be like 140 basically every pay period versus if you start at 35. So if you wait till you're about my age, I'm a little bit older than that, you need 670 a month. You're gonna need to save more for your own retirement because social security is not enough to sustain your lifestyle. Like you wanna have more than just social security to have a comfortable lifestyle and to be able to enjoy yourself. Your habits that you determine in your 20s for your finances, so saving retirement debt reduction, really impact the rest of the, the next decades, the 30s. You just It's not that you, you have to sacrifice everything, you just need to be intentional. You want to utilize the time that you have. And so therefore, I would challenge you to find any little bit that you can to get started on retirement because you'll n- never get the time back. Thank you so much, Barbara. This was great to talk to you and a very eye-opening experience for myself of me needing to start to uh, save for retirement. Yeah, never start too young. (laughs) The most important thing about retirement is you have to prepare for it. Take a look at the benefits your employer offers and what resources they offer. If you're self-employed, look into starting an IRA. You can open an IRA at most banks and credit unions, as well as through online brokers and investment companies. And if you have the opportunity or the money, you can always talk to a financial planner. 